<laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my uh, Sunday vlog for June 28th, 2020. Uh, in this video, we're talk about the updates. What's been going on with me for the past oh so many weeks since my last vlog. Uh, I'm going to talk about some TV shows I've seen, some movies I've seen. We have a Doctor Who related segment in this video because I've done a lot of Doctor Who related stuff. Okay. Um, Let's just jump right into it, okay? Uh, all this, keep myself entertained while still working and stuff like that in this crazy world, all right? First thing I did since the last vlog was watch the first four episodes to Naruto. This is the first time I've ever seen this show, all right? Uh, my cousin Joseph's really into this show. He's got like posters on his wall and stuff like that. He's watched like almost every episode. Uh, this show's still going on. So I watched this. The first four episodes, I really enjoyed it. And I did live stream myself watching the episodes, by the way. So if you want to see my reaction, watching the first four episodes in the Naruto for the very first time, it is on my YouTube channel. Go check it out, all right? So the show basically is about this kid who wants to become a, a ninja, all right? So he's part of this school where they train ninja. Uh, and um, he's like all these trials. You know, he has like some cool friends with them. And uh, he's got like a teacher who's like... He like believes in him, you know. He he, he knows that, that he'll go the distance, you know. But, he, but the whole time he's like a he's a he's a troublemaker, you know. But uh, also, all the other students at the school at the ninja school don't really like him that much because there, there's a rumor going around that he's like this nine-tailed fox monster that attacked their village years ago and stuff like that. And he's like the personification of that, you know. But uh, I don't know. I've only seen the first four episodes. I don't know if he actually does turn bad and, you know, and all that stuff later on the show. But uh, so far, I like it. Very funny segments. Uh, the, because of the first four episodes, it left off a cliffhanger, you know. Uh, he's like in the middle of this test, uh, trying to get these uh, bells or whatever. And I don't know what happens next, so... Uh, a lot of people said that this, the show is available on Netflix. Um, that's probably the only way I can do it. Because I've seen... I went to the store where I bought this, you know? And they only had, like, future versions. Like, I, I want to watch the original Dragon Ball Z, but they only have Dragon Ball GT. You know what I'm saying? Something, something like that. So, um... So, yeah. Hopefully in the future, I'll make more Naruto-related videos. Okay? I also saw another anime... Attack on Titan. I finished with um, season three, part two. I also did live stream myself watching like the final, uh, final two episodes of the show, okay, uh, of the season. There's a fourth season coming out, and uh, I believe the fourth season will be the final season. So I'm looking forward to that. So in the season, they're trying to get back the wall that was uh, like first attacked in the original village where the main characters grew up. And uh, try to get back the wall. There's a bunch of titans like throwing rocks and stuff like that. And attacking the people. Attacking the soldiers. And uh, in the end, uh, one of my favorite characters becomes a titan. And stuff like that. So if you want to see my, uh, my reaction to it, check it out there. Tons of action. Tons of intense moments. You know, uh, there's, uh, there's not so much political talk versus like the first half of season three. Like the first half of season three was like... Historia's past and stuff like that, and like the the, the human the hunter dude that was like killing off all, all, all the soldiers and stuff. We don't have to worry about that. This one is straight up action with titans. Okay, so I, I enjoyed that. Um, another animation that I saw, I did finish watching the first season of the Harley Quinn show, the Harley Quinn cartoon that uh, shows up on uh, the DC Universe app. Okay. Um, I really enjoyed it. Tons of funny moments, by the way. Like, <laughs> Kite Man dating Poison Ivy. My favorite character in the show is Clayface. Clayface is one of the villains of Batman. Uh, he's part of this little uh, ragtag team of, of misfits, uh, uh, outcasts, you know? They, they're not accepted into the Legion of Doom and stuff like that. And um, <laughs> Clayface is a thespian, you know? He's a... Uh, He's like very dramatic, you know, he, he's like a drama student, you know, he's like really into it and stuff like that, you know. He's um, very dramatic, he's always looking for the, the perfect part, you know. Uh, there was one episode with Maxi Zeus, Maxi Zeus like caught on to his tricks, 
and he keeps changing his appearance. Next thing you know, he has like a hunchback and a peg leg and a missing eye and stuff like that. And, and uh, yeah, it was hilarious, man. Uh, Dr. Psycho um, is one of Wonder, Wonder Woman's uh, villains. He's, he's a bad mouth, man. He, 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 he cusses and stuff like that. And, uh, and uh, that's why he's part of this team. Uh, the shark, he's like the computer genius of, of the team and stuff like that. And, of course, you see a lot of appearances of other characters. You see Commissioner Gordon, Batman. You see Bane. You see um, uh, Lex Luthor. You see, you see everyone. You see everyone in, in, in the show. And it's really funny. Uh, be careful. They, uh, uh, if you're a kid or whatever, they, they cuss a lot in this show. Okay, It is for mature audiences. Okay. Uh, another show I saw... I bought this DVD for like two bucks. I was like, I never saw this when it was originally in the air. I knew it existed, okay? But I was busy watching other shows while this was on, okay? So I saw The Mask, animated series. Uh, I don't know, way back when in the 90s, when I was like a little kid, Jim Carrey was everywhere, okay? Jim Carrey was in the movies, Ace Ventura. There was an Ace Ventura cartoon. There was a Mask cartoon. There was a Dumb and Dumber cartoon. It just kept coming. So he's like red hot at the time okay so i saw this uh dvd the mass it contains the first two episodes of the anime series when when he spoke when stanley ipkiss J jim carrey's character started speaking i recognized right away that's the voice of yakko from animaniacs that's the voice of donatello from the recent uh, nickelodeon uh ninja turtles series that's the voice of Raphael from the older ninja turtles series you know i recognize that voice um so in this show, I guess the main bad guy is this scientist dude where his head comes off. He's like a robot head. Uh, he's, a, he, he's like a robot body and the head is like the only thing that's like alive of him. And he's got like spider legs and stuff like that. Think of uh, like season two of, of Ninja Turtles, like the 2000, the early 2003 series, okay? Baxter Stockman was like a Spider-Man. Uh, spider, not, not, spider head at the time and stuff like that. Kind of think of it like that. So he has... Like henchmen, this big bulky guy that the mask got. Like he was, he was, he was cemented and stuff like that. And uh, I guess throughout the entire series, it's the scientist dude trying to get the mask from Stanley Ipkiss, okay, from J uh, Jim Carrey's character, okay. But uh, I saw the first episode, uh, first two episodes of the show. I'm not sure if I'm. It didn't pull me into it enough, okay. Like Naruto, that pulled me. But from the first episode, I was, like, interested, you know, in watching the rest of the series. The Mask, not so much, okay? But there it goes. Uh, movies that I've seen for the past few weeks. I did see Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? Um, I enjoyed it, okay? It's a fun movie, a lot of hilarious moments. But I think it's too, like, I'm not its target audience, okay? I, I don't think this movie was made for me. Okay, it was made for a much more younger audience, obviously, and um, it's uh, you know there's there's always a fart joke. Sonic was doing the 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 floss dance, you know. He was having all these puns and jokes and stuff like that. It it, it, it was meant for kids. Okay, this is meant for kids. Uh, I was uh, you know when I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog as a little kid. Sonic was dying all the time, you know? He was, he would drown, he would stand on top of spikes, he would fall off the edge. Like, for me, I, I, I play Sonic the Hedgehog, the video game, and I, I think of, he dies every five minutes. <laughs> every five seconds, he's, he's dying, he's falling, he's, stuff like that. He's like, bumping the enemies, and losing all his coins and stuff like that. And, um, you don't see that here. Sonic doesn't die, at all. <laughs> And no one dies. <laughs> like, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's no blood. No one's cussing, you know? It's like, uh, in the end, everyone, everyone's okay, you know? Everyone, they just set up for a sequel and stuff like that, too. So, I did do a live reaction of this movie, all right? So, if you want to see me watch the entire movie from beginning to end, see my unboxing video of this. And there's also a Sonic Collection video as part of that, Okay. Watch that, I unbox it, and I immediately put it in my DVD player and start watching it. So, 
The only thing I have to say is that the movie's good. I love the effects uh, and the action and stuff like that. But it, it's, it's kind of kitty for me. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. I mean, most of the things I've seen here, they're, uh, like, to be honest with you, I, I hope it was, well, I wish it was more like, uh, like, you know, Family Guy South Park-ish type. If, if they do bring in some humor. Okay. Okay. The rest here is Doctor Who related stuff. So you guys are free to just leave. Because <laughs> I'm going to talk about Doctor Who for a little bit. That's the thing. Like, if I want to talk about Doctor Who, i got to, like, hide it in between, uh, in other videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just, uh, make a video and call it Doctor Who Hall or Doctor Who Reviews, okay? Because uh, the Doctor Who fans would just come out and start, start attacking me. So, it's best to, like, do a Sunday vlog, then 12 minutes into it, we finally talk about Doctor Who, you know? But hide it. Like, no one knows it's a Doctor Who video until they get to this part. Um, I did read a couple of Doctor Who, uh... Graphic novels. I have a whole. Con I, I I can probably do like a whole collection of these things. I read them all the time. Um, this one's called The Twist. This one involves the twelfth Doctor, Peter, Cap Peter, Peter, blah, 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 Peter Capaldi. Okay. So here, the story is the twist. Okay. There's like this. I don't know what to call it. A station, or a planet, but it's called the Twist. Okay. And um, you know. People landed here a long time ago, but what we discovered is that everyone's actually a clone. It's not like an actual descendant of the people that came there. Apparently, these fox alien things clone the humans and then made them take over the place, okay? So on the planet, everyone was, it's not the actual descendant of the humans. They're actually clones of the humans. Okay? And then they have kids and stuff like that. But originally, uh, by the end of the story, okay, the fox aliens, the alien foxes, and the humans, happily ever after. Okay, let's just say that. And then I read another one. It's called The Weeping Angels of Mons. Okay? So this story takes place during World War II. And you know um, the uh, weeping angels, if they touch you, you're zapped back in time, okay? So a couple people, uh, it was in no man's land in World War I, and uh, a lot of people died during World War I. But what you don't realize is that they, they didn't die from like gunfire or explosions or stuff in the, on the battlefield. The Weeping Angels took care of them, okay? But everyone just assumed, oh, it's World War I, soldiers die during the war, during, in, in no man's land, stuff like that. But really, it's the Weeping Angels who've been Feasting on them, okay? Uh, my favorite part of the story was uh, one soldier got zapped back, and then we see him as an old man in present time, you know? Like, he came back. He knew that he was going to be zapped. With, he, he lived long enough to save his friend, okay? He knows his, his friend was going to be in danger, but he got zapped back. He had to go, th you know, go through 80 years of his life and then be able to save his friend, stuff like that. So, he, you come back, you see him, like, uh, take over a tank, and he's like an old man now, you know. Uh, but when he he was he was young, young soldier when he got zapped back in the time, and then he had to live all those years. He had a family and stuff like that. But and then he knew that on that day he was going to have to save his friend, okay? Because it was going to happen again. It was time time travel story, okay? I saw the third Doctor story, Day of the Daleks. So in Day of the Daleks. This is uh, another John Pertwee uh, story, okay? Which I have the most of. I have more John Pertwee stories. He's probably my favorite of the classic Doctors. I watch more of his stuff than any of the other, uh, of the other characters. Of uh, the other uh, Doctors, okay? So the third Doctor in this one, with Joe, uh, found out that the Daleks have the ability to go back in time, okay? So in the future, they're like enslaving humans and stuff like that. And it's all because of this Dalek Kinium bomb explosion thing that they kill so so they kill like a bunch of leaders of the of the of the of the world okay all the world they, they all got together all, all the leaders of the world the president of this place the prime minister of that place the emperor of this place they all got together all right and the daleks killed them and there was a big explosion and that's how it, it all started okay well knowing that uh the doctor who did kill the future and saw all this happen by the way went back to the past Went back to present day, I guess, not the future. 
And uh, when I, as the Daleks were attacking, they blew up the building that they were inside. Okay, so happily ever after, the future is not set. Okay, they changed the future. Uh, the Daleks will not enslave the human beings. Stuff like that. I like this story. Not too bad. I just wish there was more Daleks, honestly. The Daleks didn't show up, and they only showed up like little bits. There's like four episode story. Okay, show little bits, and finally in the last episode, you finally see the Daleks. Like more than you know five minutes. You know. Um, and then I did from finish watching the 12th series of Doctor Who. You know, the 13th Doctor's uh, sophomore year, so to speak. So, the Master comes back in the story. The last time we saw the Master was in Peter Capaldi's years as Missy. Okay, And even uh, at that time we saw like the, the Doctor from the 10th Doctor's era come back also. Okay, uh, and, and face... Uh, like, we had two Masters... Uh, face uh the 12th doctor okay well here the 13th doctor meets uh meets uh uh the master again okay it's crazy very energetic very very um you know you can tell he's a psycho right he's like shrinking all the people and stuff like that and then he got he got teamed up with the, the cybermen at the end of the, of the season um turned the Cybermen into like regenerative Cybermen and stuff like that. It's been crazy. And there was like a big revelation too concerning the Doctor's past. Um, I'm fine with it. I, I knew it before I saw this because about I, this show aired like like a year ago, you know, and then finally comes out on DVD. I finally get to watch it, you know. Um, but they did reveal like do the Doctor had a bit longer past than expected, okay. And uh, I I'm fine with that, okay? I thought how they presented it was, it, 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 it was good with me. I'm okay with it. I'll roll along with it, okay? So, uh, so yeah. Hmm, what else has been going on recently? I Pizza Hut for the very first time in a long time, okay? I also ate at McDonald's a couple times these past uh, couple weeks. It's been a long time since I've been eating at, at McDonald's, okay? Or fast food in general. Like, hey, just eating out in general, okay? Um... I don't know what's going to be going on with this upcoming week because the coronavirus is kind of coming back. Like, we were down for a little bit and zoom! Spikes, you know? Hitting record numbers of cases in like, like a single day here in Texas. Like, uh, this is crazy. Like, one, one weekend, like over 50,000 cases, you know? It's been crazy here. So, I'm currently teaching summer school. It's possible we all have to go online again for the rest of summer school. And here's the thing that really irks me. That's very frustrating. Some of these kids are taking summer school because they couldn't handle the online stuff. It's just, they, they're just never in the zone to do online learning, okay? So because of the online learning, they're taking summer school, and here we are in summer school, they're about to do it again. So there's, there's no, you can't escape from it, okay? So these kids are just not meant to, uh, to learn the whole thing you know so um i'm trying my best you know i'm trying my best but uh hopefully school continues i it would be oh my gosh i i, I don't know man it's uh it's kind of crazy times right now for uh, it doesn't matter what job you're in you know uh, it's hard times um yeah so i uh did I upload it? I made a couple videos these past couple weeks. You know, uh, face mask collection. I did a Marvel collection. I did Doctor Who related stuff. <clears throat> and of course, watch all my um, reaction videos. You know, me watching Naruto, Attack on Titan. You know, uh, Doctor Who. It's all there. Okay. Um, so that is it, everyone. I'll... Uh, Hopefully, I'll talk to you next week. Like, this is a lot of stuff. This this is what I've done, you know, in like two, three weeks. Hopefully, next week, uh, I have less things to talk about so I can spend more time to do like a Q&A or something. You know what I'm saying? All right. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Stay safe. And uh, be sure to spread the word and all that. Bye-bye.